What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all good. So in today's video, we're just keeping it kind of casual today. I never normally film in like other parts of my house unless I'm vlogging, but I know you guys seem to like the more casual content, which makes my life a whole lot easier. So if you want more videos of me just chilling, like no equipment, literally just my like sort of little camera, then I can do that, let me know. But yesterday I thought I would just do a little casual video and do a tattoo tour. I've had so many requests over the years to do one. I've never really felt like I've had enough tattoos to warrant doing one, but I guess like recently I had a bunch done, if you guys don't know, I had like seven done in one day. And yeah, I've had a load more questions about my tattoos, what they mean, why I've got them, how painful they were, all those sort of questions. I also asked you guys over on Instagram, if you don't already follow me on Instagram, check me out up there. And also, <coughs> just choking a little bit. Also, as I've been saying recently, YouTube it doesn't like me. It doesn't like to send notifications to any of you guys, even if you're subscribed with the bell on. So if you do want to subscribe, if you're not already, because only half of you that actually watch my videos are subscribed. So if you do want to make me very happy, then I would appreciate it if you could subscribe. And then I will also put on screen now as well how you can turn on notifications. So hopefully, YouTube will slowly start putting my videos out more because basically the way the algorithm works is like if you like videos, if you engage with them, like liking, commenting, and subscribing, and notifications, YouTube will think people like this girl. Let's show other people her videos. So if you like me and if you want me to do well in life, then I would appreciate it. Thanks so much. But anyway, yeah, we're just going to get stuck in to the tattoo questions and I'm just going to talk a little bit about my tattoo. So like I said, I got seven new ones recently. I got them all done the same day. I tend to do that a lot because as you can see, I do have kind of like, it's called like a scattered sleeve. I, I literally just stick them on me like a sticker book and it just kind of works. But yeah, you'll probably notice that some of them are a lot darker and some of them are a little bit more flaky than other ones. I'm going to be like lotioning them up on camera and stuff. Um, so yeah, I've got like seven new ones. So they are going to look a little bit darker and not as like done. I much prefer it when they look kind of like this, a little bit more worn in. So yeah, uh, where do we start? Like I said, I have 18, I think. It's about 18. I might have missed one or something. One, two, three. <laughs> My battery died. I have a new one. Let's continue. I think I was counting. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. I lose count, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. I thought I had eight. I don't know how many I have. I like, I just, I lose count. <laughs> Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. I do have 18, okay. So I guess I'll just start off by showing you guys my tattoo. So let's start off with, let's start off with the first one that I ever got. So the first one that I ever got was actually on my ribs here. And as you can see, it's a little feather. I actually got this one done when I was 18. I got it done in a place in Newquay. Um, all the ones that I've gotten are done in Cornwall. But yeah, I got it done in Newquay. It was at La Familia. And it was decent enough, but I wanted it to be a little bit more kind of like line worky. It was a little bit more blocky and almost looked a bit more like a leaf. Um, so I then ended up getting it sort of touched up again by Matt Finch, who is at Atelier 4 in Truro. Um, and that's... That's what it looks like. They just kind of added a few little fluffy bits to it. Just, yeah, I like it. Add a little bit of white to it as well, just to kind of give it a bit of, I don't know, depth, I guess. And people always say white tattoos hurt more than regular tattoos. And I don't know why, but I can 100% confirm that. I've had a couple of little highlights on some of my tattoos with white ink. And it, I don't know why, it just does hurt a lot more. People always ask me if I plan on getting like full sleeves and I love the idea of sleeves. I used to want a sleeve, well, two sleeves when I was younger and I'm so glad I didn't because I probably would have made even more questionable tattoo choices. But yeah, I always did want sleeves, um, but I'm too indecisive. Like that's why I like having these sort of sticker book sort of ones because I could have anything. I could have like a rose, a bug, cheeseburger. Like I could literally pick anything and I never really run out of room. So yes, I plan on having sleeves, but like, I think they're called scattered sleeves, um, where it's literally just like dot, 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 dot. So it will look like my arms are pretty covered by the time they're done, but I'm not gonna have like my arms colored in or anything like that. It's just gonna be. So yeah, that was the first one. Then my second one, I'm trying to think. My second one was actually this one here as well. I'm trying not to like flash it. Can you see that? Can you see that there? I'll make sure I do like cutaways and stuff, but like it's not wonky, it's just me pulling the skin up. But I've got 
Michael and Pepe's birthday tattooed onto me. So if you don't know, Michael and Pepe are my cats. Um, I've always liked Roman numeral tattoos. This is literally my thought process. I'm like, a Roman numeral tattoo, I think that would look really cool. What shall I get? I don't want my own birthday. Um, I could have got my parents' birthday. I thought, you know, Ollie and I have been together for a while, but I'm not about to commit and put like the day we got together or something on there. And so I kind of figured, what will I never get tired of? What will I always love? Like no matter what, my boys. And even though they look totally different, they are actually like biological brothers. So they were born on the same day. And I was just like, there we go, that'll do. So I think that was my second one. So they're the only ones that I don't actually have on my arms. Again, another big question was, do you ever plan on getting tattoos not on your arms? I don't know if like these people know that I've got a couple sort of on my ribs or back or whatever. Yes, I do plan on getting more. I don't really think I'll ever get them on my legs. I don't know why. I, I mean, I might do like something on my ankle or maybe like something small on my feet or something, but I don't know. I've never, never really fancied leg tattoos on me. I'd probably get something like on my bum a little bit, so maybe like a little bit further down, but otherwise probably not. I don't know why. I don't know, I just, I can imagine myself having tattoos like bits upwards and that's kind of it. And in regards to pain, I, I mean, I know they're only little ones. It's not like I've had like a full on rib piece or something, but I guess getting tattooed for the first time on my ribs and it was like, you know, it wasn't big, but it's like this sort of size of a tattoo. I've, apparently I've got quite a high pain threshold. Um, I don't I don't know if I do, but I guess I do because like I don't really find piercings or anything too painful. I'm kind of like, oh, painful, okay, I'm over it. So yeah, this one really wasn't that bad at all. It was actually worse, like I said, when they did the white ink, when I got it touched up a little bit a couple of years later. That was worse than the whole tattoo altogether. And a few people as well have asked me what like a tattoo feels like. I know some of you watching this probably will already have tattoos. You'll be very familiar with them. Um, so feel free to let everyone know down below like what your experience with them were. I find it's kind of like, I don't find it very painful. I find it more annoying than anything. It's like, I like it. Like I like sort of having light little tickles, you know? Um, but like, if I keep going over the same part of my skin, over and over again. After a while, it gets annoying. And that's kind of how, like, you know sunburn. When you rub your finger over sunburn, it's sometimes it's like, it's not necessarily painful. It's just more like, oh, I don't like it. Like that's, that feels too sensitive. Or like when your skin hurts when you're ill, that's kind of like how it feels to me sometimes. That's like the worst bit of it. Don't get me wrong, this one little piece here on my snake, I even said to the girl, I was like, that actually, that's a bit nasty. It only took a second, obviously, because it's literally down there, but I feel like on like the inner part of my elbow, I don't feel like that's gonna be a good time. But yeah, I don't know, I've never really, never really found them that painful. And that's not me trying to be like, I'm tough. Uh, it's, it does kind of just feel like how I personally imagined it would feel. It's like almost like a slight cutting which makes it sound so bad, but also the needle's going like in and out really, really quickly. And yeah, it does just kind of feel like a, just like a slight cutting. Um, but the main thing that annoys me is just literally when they start going over the same area, if they have to like shade something in or fill something in a bit more, or when they wipe it, like when your tattoo's kind of done, then they'll wipe it down and like clean all the excess ink off. They'll wipe it and then they might go back in again or they'll wipe it a couple of times and your skin's just there. Like, can you like can you leave me alone? Um, but I mean, I've had like six hour sessions of like just doing bits and bobs on my arms and I've had multiple six hour sessions and I'm it's never, bothered me to the point where I've had to have a break or, you know, I've thought I might have to ask them for a break. I don't know. I find it quite easy and I also kind of find it enjoyable. I'm like one of those, those sickos that does kind of like it a little bit. But yeah, in regards to ribs, they were definitely one of the more painful ones. Like some parts of my arm, I barely even felt, but for me, they really were fine. And I was like even smaller than what I am now. I was a little bit more bony on my ribs and yeah, it was, this one in particular is on like quite a bony part. So it really wasn't that bad. Um, but obviously everyone is like totally different. Mm -hmm. So then my third experience with tattoos, I just kind of went straight in really. Like I said, I knew I wanted loads just dotted around. My family have never really liked tattoos, not to the point where they like shun me for having them or anything, but like my parents don't have any, my sister doesn't have any. I don't think anyone really in my family does. I think my uncle might have one. But when I was younger, it was kind of like, don't get tattoos, Steph, you know, don't, you don't need them. Um, and then, Sorry, mum and dad, but yeah, I just ended up deciding that actually I do want to get arm tattoos. 
But then one day I was just like, you know what? I am just going to get the tattoos that I want. And so, yeah, I booked in for a full day session with Remy, who has done the majority of my tattoos. She did that one here, by the way. Uh, I didn't mention her before. So Matt did that one. And then Remy's done pretty much every other one apart from one, which some of you will know the story about this one. Oh, Michael wants to come in. Do you want to come in? Hello, Michael. Come on up. Come here. Hello. <laughs> There he is. Michael, try not to show your... Oh my God, I know, I can't believe it. You happy to be on the bed? Guess not. What was I saying? I just started getting them on my arms. And so yeah, I booked in a day session with Remy and we just kind of just went with it. So I designed all of them. Like I told Remy what I wanted. I gave her like ideas and I did like a little Pinterest board and stuff. And then she designed them for me. So they are kind of like designed to me. And in that session, what did I get? I got this bug which is one of my faves. There's no meaning to this. Like, I'll be honest, there's like no meaning to, I mean, there's a, there's a couple of like teeny tiny sort of meanings to my tattoos. A lot of them are stupid. Um, like my meaning for this one was that I wanted a Roman numeral tattoo because I thought it looked cool and, and I love Michael and Pepe, my cat. So it's not really like that much of a deep meaning. Michael's just literally looking at me like, why? Are you talking to yourself up here? But yeah, this one has absolutely no meaning. I just thought it looked cool as hell. And I don't know what happened, but I've somehow just gotten loads of bugs tattooed onto me. That wasn't a plan or anything. I'm actually not, like, I don't dislike bugs really, but I'm not like a huge bug fan. But I've ended up, yeah, just getting loads tattooed onto me. And I don't really know why. So yeah, in that session, I got Remy the bug. I got Keith the cat. I love Keith, he's one of my favorites. So I love Sphinx cats. I love Sphinx cats so much. I think they're so weird and just so interesting. They're like little aliens. And I thought again, it would just look cool as hell as a tattoo. Again, I will show like close-ups and stuff just in case you guys can't see them. But yeah, and then I thought, let's add an extra eye on him. He looks a lot like Beerus from Dragon Ball Z. If you guys are familiar, then we're like already very, very good friends if you are a Dragon Ball Z fan. Um, but yeah, I just wanted a Sphinx cat and I didn't get this one shaded in or anything like that. I have like a mixture of some shaded, some just line drawings. So he was part of the second session as well. But yeah, this is also part of that big session that I had. It's just like a ram skull. I think it's a ram. I don't really know. Again, like these don't really have meanings. Like Keith doesn't have a meaning. I just like him. Uh, this doesn't really have a meaning. Yeah, you can probably see as well. It's just a skull with some little flowers just sprouting out of his little head like woo. And then during that session as well, I also got this guy here. Loads of people ask what this actually is. It's a phrenology head. And again, it doesn't mean anything. Some people that fully believe in that and stuff. I got it because again, I always liked them. I always had like a weird kind of fascination just to how they looked with phrenology heads and I thought it would make a cool tattoo. So yeah, there's that one there. And it's like a bit of a creepy phrenology head and he's a bit broken off. I'll probably like insert a picture of a phrenology head now but yeah you can see he's just he's got no pupils on his eyes he's a bit creepy looking and yeah i do really like this one i feel like maybe i would have liked it to be a little bit smaller but that was just me obviously just going in like let's put tattoos on my arms and yeah i don't know i feel like that space could have been used hello michael hello there we go he doesn't he doesn't want to look at you though he doesn't want to look at you he's just looking at the, the neon sign michael dream big okay if you can dream it you can do it be now sort of known the kind of vibe that I'm getting with my arm. I feel like that could have been a good space to chuck a couple of things. So I would have liked it if it was maybe half the size, but it is what it is. I like it anyway, and I can't see it. I have no regrets with it at all, by the way. It's just kind of like, so yeah, I got him, and there's also a little bit of text, just kind of like, I can't really see, but like poking outside of it, it just says like figure one, figure two, just like a little diagram sort of thing. So that was a bit of a, a different one. Some people say it looks a little bit like Hellraiser with like the spikes. I think it's, is it Hellraiser? The spikes coming out of the heads. But yeah, little phrenology head. Next we'll move on to the time I got tattooed in Vegas. This is by far my worst tattoo, but I also really kind of like it. And we've got a good story with it as well. So my mum tattoo, as a lot of you guys will know, my mum did pass away a couple of months after I got this. So it's probably like the thing where she was just like, I'm out, Steph, but you got a mum tattoo, I'm out. But yeah, I got this done when I was in Vegas. So this is like one of the only real tattoos that actually kind of has a meaning. Um, and probably, you know, not 
not the obvious meaning. Like, obviously, I got it because my mum was ill for a really long time because it's like, I love my mum. And just because it's, it's like one of those cliche tattoos that everyone's like, oh, God, you know, you've got one of those mum tattoos. It's like one of those, like, biker traditional sort of things. And I always kind of wanted one because, again, it's like, like I said, my parents never really liked tattoos. And so what's like one of the worst tattoos in my head that I could probably get is something like with their name on it. Dad, if you're watching this, I actually had a stencil on my arm for a tattoo for my dad, which I will be getting, but we just ran out of time. This is in my last session. So I will be getting something here for my dad very soon. He doesn't know that yet. So if he watches this video, then here we are. But uh, yeah, I will be doing that. What are you doing? But yeah, this I basically got because my mom was in hospital at the time. She was like, basically, we found out that she, how do I even, how do I even word it really? She wasn't going to get better. So she was in hospital and that time we got told that she wasn't really going to get better. There wasn't going to be any type of improvement or medication or anything that could make her better. And so I was going in and seeing her most days in hospital and I got an email I think it was either like right before or when I was actually there from Motel. So yeah, I got the invite to Vegas and I thought it was gonna be in like a couple of months time. So I was hoping my mum would be home and you know, better and stuff like that. But they were like, it's in a couple of weeks. And I said to my mum there and then, I was like, no, I'm not going. She was like, you have to go. You're going like, you, you've been offered a free trip to Vegas. Like, what are you doing? I was like, of course I'm not gonna go. Um, long story short, she persuaded me to go and you know, I had a, the most amazing time. It was incredible. So yeah, I went to Vegas and a bunch of the girls were there. So Han, Danny, and I kind of had this idea in my head as well, because I knew I wanted a mum tattoo. I was going to get one, like, regardless of whether it was in Vegas or wherever. So I thought, maybe if there's a tattoo place there, I'll get one. Let's see. And I also just kind of thought it would just be a bit of fun, you know, just going out and just getting an impromptu tattoo with the girls. Like, Danny got one. Helen also. Did Helen get one? I can't quite remember. But either way, it was a laugh. So we went onto the main strip, and this tattoo cost me, like, $100 or something. That is very expensive for this tattoo. I will talk a little bit more about pricing and everything in a second, but that was, for the individual tattoo, that was, yeah, quite expensive, especially considering it is crap. It's done so badly. But yeah, we came across a shop and we'd had a couple of tequilas, uh, a couple of margaritas that day. We were literally drinking from like one of the cowboy boot things. There's like a picture of me and Danny of us just like drinking. And I think it was that day I actually got my tattoo. But the motel girls were there as well. And it was just such like a casual kind of fun trip. And the girls were like similar age to us. And I was just like, I might go and get a tattoo. They were like, do it, yes you know, loads of fun. And so yeah, we ended up finding this tattoo place that was about 10 minutes away from our hotel. And we had to wait like half an hour and then we managed to get seen. And yeah, they basically just drew this up. And the way it looked on the little iPad picture that he showed me, it was a lot more kind of like fine liney. It, it ended up being this. I always joke about it, but the font is literally like Comic Sans, which is like the most memeable font ever. And so yeah, I got this and it was honestly, it was done so badly. <laughs> It's like, I don't even know if I could get it lasered off, to be honest, because I would probably like to get a smaller, like more sort of liney one done. Um, but I think me and Remy are actually going to be like tweaking it a bit. So I might just tweak it, see if I like it a bit more, if it like fits in a little bit more in with the style. Because even like the heart shape's a bit weird. I don't know. It, this is like just totally not my style at all. But I got it because the idea was I was just going to make my mum laugh and just give her like just something. You know, obviously she was she wasn't doing well and I was sort of updating her throughout the day and stuff and I just kind of figured that if I just go and get this tattoo because she knew I had a couple of anyway and she was always like you're gonna get more I was like probably she was like oh my god but yeah I just kind of thought I'm gonna go and get this tattoo and I told my mum I was like I've got you a souvenir from Vegas I got her, like something else as well but I was like yeah I've got you a souvenir I'll bring it over when I get back and she already managed to see it on Instagram because I posted a couple of pictures while I was obviously away with Motel and she messaged me one day and she was like, is that a fake tattoo? I was like, no, da da. And she was just kind of like, why have you got that? Like a bit annoyed, but also found it a little bit funny. And I don't know, I feel like that was just, it was just something just to kind of break things up a little bit for me. It was more so just to kind of make my mum laugh and just to be a sort of like, oh my God, Steph, what are you doing? Because like I said, she didn't really care. She would just, she would prefer it if I didn't have them, but she didn't really care. Didn't like, she didn't judge me or didn't bother or anything like that. Uh, so yeah, I got that just to basically make my mum laugh and just to just do something a little bit different and just to make her smile a little bit. 
when I managed to get back from Vegas. And when I got back, she was actually back from hospital, which was really, really good. But yeah, I came over, I was like, ta-da. She's like, it's not real, is it? I was like, you're damn right it is. Isn't it lovely? And she hated it, but in like a really funny way. So that's kind of like the story behind that one. And that's the only real story like meaningful story that I kind of have, but it was also, it's also not that meaningful because I got drunk and got a crappy mum tattoo in Vegas, but um, it's a little memory. So then after that, it was around about six months later and then obviously the whole world basically fell apart. So I had loads of plans to go in again and see Remy and like go get loads of tattoos, but obviously we could barely even leave our houses at that point. So I had like a bunch of these planned, which I think is why a lot of people are like, why are you suddenly getting so many? It's like, these I was supposed to have gotten a year, a year and a half ago. Just while I've got the chance now, I'm just, I'm just getting the ones that I wanted. So I was booked in in July and it was like a month or so before. Remy had someone cancel and she literally put on Instagram. I just happened to be on Instagram at the time. She's like, if anyone can come down, if I had cancellation. So I was like, if she, you know, if I reply, and if she comes back to me and says, you know, yeah, it's yours, then I'll just make it work. Cause we hadn't had really anything designed. We had a couple from before, but nothing really set in stone. So that night we both literally just designed a bunch of tattoos. I was sending her over ideas and I ended up getting, I don't know, one, two, how many did I get? One, two, three, four, four that day, I think. And one of those was this tattoo here, which I literally really like actually. This was like one of the ones we were literally just like, yeah, screw it. Let's just chuck a butterfly on, like they look nice. So she drew up a little butterfly and yeah, I got that one done. That one I barely felt at all. That one was so, so easy. Then I got this eye at the back here. Again, this is just one of those really, really small ones that I always kind of, I literally had a picture of this like pinned on Tumblr or like posted on Tumblr years and years and years ago. And I always kind of liked it. I always thought I'd maybe get it on like the back of my ankle or the back of my neck or something. But then I just figured that kind of be like a cool place to put it. So when my arm's down, it's like, I'm watching you. So yeah, there was that one and that one was like nothing, literally like nothing at all. I also got this one and again if you've been around for a while you may remember Mr. Sieg honestly even thinking about Mr. Sieg like my eyes well up a little bit I don't know why like I'm sure he's still fine but I just miss him if you don't know Mr. Sieg was basically in my old house I genuinely tamed a seagull you guys might have seen that um there's a TikTok going around where this guy is like taming the seagull and it's like day 69 of taming a seagull and the seagull it, if you haven't seen it, then you'll just be like, what the hell is she talking about? But the seagull talks in like a Microsoft Sam kind of voice. It's like, hi, bitch, feed me now, bitch. And basically I was, I was taming seagulls before TikTok made it popular. Just wanna put it out there, okay? We literally used to have it in our house. So our kitchen was almost kind of like an extension. And if I looked out the window, there was a seagull on the other house because it was all like adjoining houses. And I basically, over months and months, I basically managed to have this seagull every single morning. I would come out, I'd be feeding the cats and I would wave at the seagull and he'd be like this. And he would come flying down into our garden, like onto the wall or sometimes into the actual garden. And I would just feed him. And you know, sometimes I would just give him like loads of different types of food that like, I can't remember what I would give him, but I gave him, I Googled like what seagulls could eat. And I was just like giving him whatever we kind of had around the house that he could have. And I did that for months. Um, I stroked him, he was, yeah good friend and then we moved and honestly that was the main thing that I was sad about leaving my seagull because I was like who's gonna who's gonna feed him and basically that's the kind of meaning behind this but I also just kind of wanted it because I think skulls look cool and I like the way bird skulls look I actually used to be terrified of birds and now I love them like there's crows that live in my garden right now and we're also trying to tame them at the moment so yeah it was kind of like the, the main reason I want most of my tattoos because I think they look cool that's like the main reason why I do a lot of them but I thought I'll get you and I'll call you Mr. Sieg and I'll always have you to remember Mr. Sieg bye and that one being, that was like one of the first ones, yeah, like apart from this little bit here, that was like the first decent one I had kind of like on my forearm. I, again, I don't really remember this one too much. I feel like it was a little bit more painful because there's a little bit less fat on my arm here, but it really wasn't bad at all. Like none of them really were. And then my other tattoo that I got, I don't know if you can see, there we go. I got another bug. Basically, I loved this bug so much. This was like one of my most favorite tattoos. So I thought, let's get another one. And yeah, that night she basically drew up a beetle because we were like what sort of bug should we do 
let's do a beetle. And again, same sort of thing. She's got a little eyeball in there. I don't know what it is. Again, another fear of mine is eyes, actually. Like, eyes kind of creep me out a little bit. I remember watching the film Hostel. If you've seen the film Hostel, look, that, like, scarred me for life. But yeah, got this bug and I love him. So yeah, I've got my beetle. So then that brings us on to my recent tattoos. So I got seven done in one day the other day. Um, and like a couple of them were so, so tiny. So I, like, I almost don't even count them. But yeah, I got my serotonin one here, which is actually one of my new faves. I got a scorpion there. We keep saying it's a lobster. Me and Remy just literally kept saying it was a lobster. I don't know why, but it is a scorpion. I got another butterfly because I love this one so much and I cannot wait for this one to be a little bit more settled in my skin because it's quite dark at the moment. Yeah, I got another butterfly, little lightning bolt, which like I didn't feel at all. I got this upside down rose here, this fly and then my snack. And yeah, like I said, I plan on getting a bunch of other ones as well. I've got a load of text that I plan on putting just like the same way that I kind of have this one here scattered around. I'm just going to have like words and certain things just like dotted around. So the first one, I think this is the first one she did on that day. But yeah, I wanted just this little rose. I wanted just like a line drawing. We basically put them all on as line drawings. And then if I wanted them shaded in, we would sort of shade them in once they were on. And yeah, this is one of the ones that I just didn't even really think about, but I really, really like sort of how it looks and where it sits. She was like, yeah, like where do you wanna put it? And I said here, and then just as she was about to stick the stencil on, I was like, screw it, let's flip it upside down just to just to be a bit different. And so flipped it upside down, no meaning behind that at all, literally just thought it looked sweet. Uh, this fly, no meaning behind this one either. This is what I mean when I'm saying I'm getting loads of bugs and I don't really know what's happening, but I don't know. I find them interesting. I feel like they're good things to tattoo. Like bugs just kind of look cool, they're interesting. And I thought I've got my Kikada Kikada tomato tomato sort of thing got my butterfly i got my other bug got another butterfly here and so i was just like let's get a little fly i don't know i just kind of like him and yet these barely felt the metal like i i honestly barely felt anything on my arms i don't know if i've got like a nerve situation going on here but i like i barely felt any of them so it's probably better for me to just tell you which ones i did kind of feel so yeah they were easy peasy and then obviously i got this butterfly again like i was saying this one was really, really easy as well and done quite quickly. This was obviously like blink and it was done. This snake was probably one of my most painful. This was all kind of fine, but like as it got, like I was saying, a little bit lower sort of onto the bone there, it was a little bit more sort of noticeable. Like I could just sit there for hours and I was just having conversations and just like, it, I would never flinch or anything like that. Some tough. Uh, but this one, I remember sort of saying to Remy, I was like, I think my arm was like back like this. And so, so I was facing away and I was like, so I feel that one. I was like, that one's not very, that bit's not very nice. She was like, yeah, it's cause it's like going right down almost into your elbow. I was like, oh yeah, I don't like that. Um, but again, it was like, I could have carried on. Like if I had to have like a full tattoo in there, it would be fine. But that was just something that I did notice a little bit more. So I do imagine, you know, that part of your arm probably gonna be a bit more painful than maybe some more fleshy parts. So yeah, literally no meaning behind any of them at all, to be quite honest. Just again, thought they look cool. And then what did I get here? I got this little scorpion, no meaning behind this guy at all. Again, just thought he was a cool looking creature. That's kind of like the way I look at things. I'm like, okay, what looks cool and what is weird and what would be a cool kind of like line drawing? And so we drew up a little scorpion lobster boy. And then, yeah, like I said, I want to get loads more text and obviously going to get something to do with my dad here. But the one that I really, really wanted as this is like, this doesn't, it does have a meaning, I guess, but not really. It kind of just has like the meaning you would sort of imagine. Um, as a lot of you will know to put, let's get deep for like five seconds. I've had like depression since I was, I was diagnosed when I was like 14. I'm 28 now. So literally half of my life, I at least half my life, I've been depressed. And again, like I said, I lost my mum fairly recently and long story short, getting enough of this serotonin, which if you don't know, it's like the chemical for happiness, basically. Getting enough of this over my life has been a little bit tricky. So I just kind of thought, put it on there. And I think as well, like recently, as again, some of you guys will recognize, which is very, very cool. I am doing a lot better, like little 10 second update. I am 
gonna be stopping therapy soon like not necessarily forever but I'm going it alone for a while which is really cool she said that I'm you know doing really well um all of my meds for various things they're all level so the brain's kind of doing all right so yeah I feel like it was a good time to get this one and this is literally just like people have asked what font it is it's I think it's literally like Times New Roman but italicized and then I spread out the letters a little bit just so it's a little bit more separate and so yeah I've got that there um I mostly got it again the placement just because I thought it looked cool but actually it's kind of nice because it's like I can always kind of see it like if I'm chilling driving in the bath you know doing whatever it's always kind of there so it's like a little reminder but yeah I really like this one I like how it looks in general like I can't wait to get more text bits dotted around but yeah it's just also it looks cool and it has a nice meaning behind it like just be happy so in terms of what tattoos I want next, a lot of them I will just kind of decide as and when. I'm booked in, or I'm, I've got a reminder to basically be told when uh, Remy's books are open again because we're gonna do another day sesh. I might even do a couple to be honest and just get a bunch done because I know what I want, I just need to like get the designs for it done. So I know I just want like a load of random things. And yeah, I want a bunch of text. I want, there's, I'm not gonna like, say too much just in case I change my mind or whatever, but there's a couple of like text pieces that I want. One's kind of like scripty. I also want to get a little kiss, just like a little X probably here, but like in my handwriting, I've already drawn it up and stuff, but yeah, I think I'll get like a little kiss there. I am also trying to find one from my mum. I'm trying to find like a card or something. And you know, if I can find that, then I will just get Remy to copy that. I plan on getting the number 13 on me. If you're, you know, a little bit funny about that. It's like, I, I don't know. I kind of like the somewhat twisted side of things. So I want to get um, the number 13, but in like a tally, like as if I'm in like prison and I've like carved in 13. I just think it looks cool. Like that's, li that's literally it. I have, I have no inspiring meanings behind a lot of these things. I just want, I just want little doodles on me. So yeah, I'll probably get that. I'm kind of thinking I might get it. Uh, I don't know actually. I might even get it. I'm kind of thinking around here like one of these parts just like might even just get like wedged in there or something at an angle i'll just i'll decide on the day and yes yeah, like for my dad pretty sure we have some other drawings i also want to get a few silly things one that i really want to get i want mr burns as an alien like really small again let's put a picture on the screen now please thank you very much but yeah i don't know where i'll put it it'll probably be just something you won't really notice i want to get like a couple more so that then I can just start adding some stupid ones. And overall, it'll be like, she has tattoos. But then when you actually look at them, you're like, is that Mr. Burns as an alien? And I'll be like, yes. I also want to get some French fries, like just like a little thing of French fries or something. But yeah, definitely got a lot more planned. Um, a lot of super teeny tiny ones, like similar to this and this one here. I'll probably have a couple more decent sized ones, like a couple more this sort of size, and then a lot this kind of size. But yeah, I suppose that's kind of it for like showing you around them. So I will answer a couple of questions that you guys asked me. One that you did ask me, I feel like I picked that up as if this is like a sponsor or something. The tattoo balm that I use, which I need to use badly at the moment, like my tattoos right now are super crusty because like I said again, these guys are healing. But the one that I've been using for the past few sessions, I literally got it from the tattoo shop. Uh, it's the Sorry Mum Vital Balm for Regeneration and Protection of New Tattoos. So it's literally like this. I think this cost me like a fiver and it's lasted me multiple sessions. I want to do it on camera as well, just so you can see how much better it looks when it's hydrated. So it's on some of the last couple of days of it healing. So I don't have to be too careful with it now or anything. I find that most of my tattoos typically heal within about a week or so. Obviously still have to be a little bit more careful around them, but they, they kind of stop being scabby after around about a week. And then I think right now, like it's just got a bit of just like standard dry dead skin as a skin sort of starting to heal over the top. So in a couple of days, it should be absolutely fine. But yeah, it just kind of makes them look fabulous again. But yeah, I'm pretty sure you can pick this up like online and stuff. And yeah, it cost me like a fiver. So let's answer a couple of questions. Someone said, do you regret getting any tattoos? Nope. Uh, the mum one, I would like to be a little bit more fitting with my other ones, but you also don't really see it, so it's fine. And like I said, me and Remy are probably gonna tweak it a little bit, get rid of the comic sands and like sharpen up just little bits and bobs. And yeah, I'm sure I'll like it then. If not, I can always get a lasered if I want to, but I probably won't. Favorite tattoo artist? 
Remy. Reminess. Um, I'll put her down below. I'm like, I love that girl just on like a personal level. But yeah, Remy is so, so bloody good. She does loads of different things. She doesn't just do like line work sort of things like I have. She does full on kind of like portrait. You don't really know the style, but like she does insane that like uh, tattoos. Is it Beavis on your arm? No, it's not. But I do need to get a Beavis one. I really should, shouldn't I? But everyone always thinks that's a B. It's not. Uh, a couple of you thought that was a B as well, but um, no, I do need to get Beavis. Best aftercare you use? Yeah, probably this stuff. I've also used the Panthem, um, and I do prefer this stuff a little bit more. Panthem is fine, but this stuff is a lot better. Do you want any color tattoos? No. I think I might like a red one, just like if I end up getting something in writing or whatever, maybe like a red one, but I, probably not. I don't know, I've, I like how color tattoos look on other people, but I think I I barely even wear color in my day-to-day -day life, like clothing-wise, and I can take that off, let alone having something colorful on me permanently. So I doubt it. I highly, highly doubt it. If I do, it'll probably be like little details or something, but probably not. Which tattoo took the longest and the shortest? Obviously this one was the shortest. Longest was probably, I don't know, I maybe wanna say this one or this one, probably one of the two. They're like a similar size as well. So I th it might have been this one. Okay, and in terms of pricing, so I have to try and remember. I feel like this one, when I first got it done, was around about a hundred pounds. I mean, that it was like literally 10 years ago that I got it. So I think it was around about a hundred, maybe like 90 or something. This one, there's like a certain fee, I think obviously for like the materials, like tools and stuff. I feel like that one was around about like 80 or something. And then, this one here, like I said, was like $100. Um, and then all the other ones, because I have had like day sessions, they're like 300, 350 for like a full day session. But yeah, for the day sessions, obviously it depends on the tattoo artist and stuff. Uh, it was like 300, 350 and I had a couple of them and then a couple of other like 100 pound ones dotted around. And I saw, I literally just scrolled past it because I was gonna talk about this but I can't find it again now. But someone asked about tattoo flu. I have mentioned this on my stories. I get so ill <laughs> when I get tattoos and it's not the most normal thing. Like it's not abnormal. Uh, it's something to really worry about, but I get like super run down. I think because I don't really sleep enough as it is, I'm, my body is probably just ready as soon as it's had like any kind of trauma to just be ill, but yeah especially when I've had the like the full day sessions, I could have had so much sleep that night, I could have eaten like sugar, kept my blood pressure up, all of that. No matter what, no matter how rested I was or anything, I, every time I've had a day session, I've always come home and I've felt super run down. I've had to like have a nap, go to sleep, or just like the next day I've just been like, uh, just feeling rough, not, not any real symptoms. I would just feel like I'm super, super run down because I guess I've had my body like scratched and just essentially mutilated a little bit for like six hours straight. So it's kind of no wonder. I found that when I've had, when I've had a few different types of filler in my face as well, if I've been tired and if it's been kind of like a bit more, like when I first started getting it done, I definitely felt a bit more beat after that. And it's the same kind of thing. Some people get it, some people don't. People react differently to tattoos and just different things in general. But yeah, for me, I do get a little bit run down and the only way I know how to combat it is to just, I have tons of sugar while I'm having tattoos, usually tons of sugar and tons, tons of caffeine. So like iced coffees, very handy. I try to make sure I'm as rested as possible. So if for example, I don't know, say if my tattooing starts at like 11, then that day I'll like, I'll get out of bed really, really late so I can make sure that I just have a full on lie in so I'm super rested before I actually go in and get tattooed. So I won't get up like hours before, I'll kind of get up just a bit before I need to actually leave. And yeah, sugar, food, just keep your energy up and just like fuel your body and stuff. You can also get numbing creams. I've never used them. I've used them for like laser before, like laser hair removal. And like when I had a couple of those sessions that were so, painful. Turns out the people that I went to before, they actually like basically burnt a girl. So no wonder it was so painful. But you can get uh, numbing creams. Uh, Sammy Josephine does one that's supposed to be really, really good. And like I said, I've used it a couple of times for laser. It's NTX and I'll leave a link to it down below, but that's a good shout if you are really worried about it. So you can use numbing creams, stay hydrated, have a lot of sugar, 
like things that will give you energy and if you feel tired I literally just like sleep most evenings after I've been tattooed I'll at least have like a good solid nap just to kind of get my energy levels back up a little bit but yeah tattoo flu is real I'm telling you it's gnarly like it's weird and yeah I, I don't get any symptoms like I don't get like a runny nose or a cough or anything I'm just like weak just like I need to sleep I need a day off uh, so that's also why I like to just get a bunch of them done in one go because if you know if I got like two I might be ill the next day so I may as well get them all done in one go like two birds one stone or like seven birds one stone and just deal with the consequences but uh yeah tattoo flu that's a noisy vehicle tattoo flu is very much real and the only thing I can say that helps is like sugar just eat a lot of sugar would you ever get bigger pieces probably not don't think I will I just like the small ones um like yeah that's probably kind of the bigger size that I would typically go for. I might be wrong, I might change my mind, but I kind of wanted to stay with smaller ones. I do plan on getting some on my hand as well. Just like teeny tiny little bits and pieces again, like text and stuff that I've had planned for a while. I thought that's kind of it. The idea with aftercare as well, obviously again, it all depends on your tattoos, on what your tattooist recommends. But for me, it's like you come back, you have them wrapped up in like cling film, I don't take that off for the day. This is just what I've been told and like what I do and what works for me. So I'll keep the cling film on that day or like, you know, I might shower in the evening. I'll, I'll sort of know by the way it looks because you kind of get, it gets a bit plasma-y and like a bit goopy looking, totally normal. But yeah, I'll normally keep that on. If it if it's like a quite a chilled piece with like not that much ink in it, like this one, then I'll probably leave the cling film on overnight. Or if it gets a bit goopy, then I will just literally rinse it so lightly with like a cool water, no soap or anything. Just rinse off the goop. And then I'll put more of that balm stuff on and just cover it up again with cling film. I'll do that for a couple of days. And then usually by like the third day, I'm able, it's like they're dry enough. They've like scabbed over enough a little bit. Not like scabbed over, just kind of, I mean, it technically is scabbing, but not scabs how we know it. It'll be dry enough so I can just put the cream on it without having to put the cling film on and stuff. And yeah, I'll make sure I just cream it multiple times a day, kind of as and when I need it. If it looks dry, I'll add a bit of moisture onto it. Then yeah, as time kind of goes on, you can wash it a bit more. You can sort of like, I'll fake tan. Like what I do with my fake tan actually, which has always kind of worked, is obviously I won't fake tan on them for a while, but now they have sort of healed a lot more. They don't hurt at all. To fake tan, because I know some of you will want to know this, I will put the balm on first, like quite a decent layer of it. And then when it comes to fake tan, if I'm like going around my arms and stuff, I'll literally lightly tap just the mitt. I won't even, I won't rub, I'll just tap it on. And it, it does a little bit. It's like, it's always gonna look a little bit patchy, but who the hell cares? And yeah, normally after like seven days, seven to seven days to two weeks, uh, normally in that time, I'll find that I won't really have to apply the moisturizer as much like it's been a while and you know I don't really I could get away with not doing this and moisturizing it and stuff um but I'll just have a look at them and if they're looking a little bit dry and crusty then I'll just lube them up a little bit but yeah, I think that's kind of it for all the questions I feel like this video is actually a lot longer than I thought it was gonna be I sat down and I was like this is gonna take me like 15 minutes we're gonna be done like why do people even want me to talk about tattoos I haven't got anything to say but Apparently I do. I think I've been filming for like an hour and a half or something now. So God knows how long this video is going to end up as. But yeah, hopefully you enjoyed that, found it helpful. I don't know. Let me know. Let me know what you guys think of tattoos. Do you have any of your own? Do you have any plan? Just let me know. Um, and a lot of people ask me as well if I could do like a piercing tour. I never really feel like anything I do is that interesting. So I don't know why people want to know about it. But if you do want a piercing tour, I have quite a lot. Like, and I have had quite a lot. Like I said, I had a bunch in my face. I've had that on my belly button. I've pierced a few things myself, which you shouldn't do, but um, I can do one of them if you want. Talk about where I get my jewelry from and stuff like that. So let me know. Let me know your favorite tattoo of mine. Like, I don't know. I feel like a lot of people are gonna like the butterfly. I feel like a lot of people might like the serotonin one. I like the rose. I really like the rose actually. But um, yeah, let me know your favorites. I'll give you like a little, Another little show again, like a weird little dance. No doing that again. I cannot believe Michael has stayed so nice and quiet this whole time. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, as always, please do give it a big thumbs up. And like I said at the start as well, if you do want to see me do well in general, like if you just want to help me out in any way, then subscribe if you aren't already because like half of you aren't subscribed to my channel and you watch my videos. So if you would like to just make me very happy, 
then press that button. I, I'm actually going to give you a few seconds, right? Okay. I'm going to give you four seconds to click subscribe. Okay. Easy. Did you do it? Please. Thank you. Let me know. And yeah, turn on notifications. If you haven't already, you just have to press the bell and then click, um, there's like personalized all or none. If you'd like to see all my videos, cause I upload all the damn time, like at least two videos, usually three, sometimes four a week, then hit the bell and you should get notified. You should. Let's see. But anyway guys, that is it from me. As always, if you enjoyed this video, thumbs up and do all the things and subscribe if you do want to see more of me because I upload all the damn time, like I said. But apart from that, that is it from me. I love you guys and I will see you in the next one. Bye.